Hello, I'm Michael Finn, Holistic Exercise and Lifestyle Coach, and I am going to show you a quick little warm-up that you can do every day before you work out, um, before you do anything that's going to be physically active to improve the function of your body. I've already got a little sweat going because I just did a very descriptive version of this, and I did it all very slow, so that, you know, it worked it even harder. But you can do this every day. Good to move the body. The body needs to pump all the pumps in the body, and this is what it's going to do. It's going to, this little warm-up will pump a good portion of them. I have some other warm-up videos that you can find on my channel here too, which is why you should always subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get new ones all the time. You can constantly be changing things up and having a variety because I get into all sorts of fun stuff. So, here we go. This is going to be the faster version. Um, without a whole lot of description. So I'm going to start off with marching in place. Okay, we want to swing the arms. We want the knees coming up to hip height. We want to pull the toes up as well so that the, both the thigh and the bottom of the foot are parallel to the floor when your knee is right out in front of your hip. Okay, in that marching position. Okay, um, and then I even land on the ball of my foot and then set the heel down. And then we want to swing those arms, so you can either have your arms straight, if you want to do that, but that always kind of feels weird for me because I'm a sprinter. So I have my arms bent, and then I have my hands in the position that I sprint in, which is just lightly curled up a little bit. Um, they're not straight, and I have my thumb resting on top of my fingers, because one of my track coaches made us run and sprint quarter miles holding a potato chip without breaking it underneath our thumb, so to show that we were staying relaxed, okay? So, a little marching in place, pumping those knees, big full breaths, all the way in, all the way out. And now we're going to turn that into a jog of the same thing for 15 seconds. Here we go, jogging. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and then we can shut that down. All right, so that's a good jogging in place. Gets everything going really good there. And now we're going to do some neck rolls. So we're gonna roll that head around to the left with a nice inhale to the back. And an exhale coming around to the front. Big inhale around to the back. Exhale around to the front. So when I did the jogging part, you could have stayed marching. If jogging was too much for you, you could have done that perfectly fine. So, or you could have done it smaller. I was bringing my knees all the way up to my hips like you should. But we can do it at the way that we could do it, okay? So, there's a good five neck rolls around to the left. And then let's go neck rolls around to the right. Big inhale to the right, to the back. Big exhale around to the left, to the front. Big inhale around to the right and the back. Big exhale around to the front. All the way around. Boom, just like that. Rolling that neck around. Nice and smooth. Inhale around the back. Exhale around to the front. We'll go one more time. Big inhale around to the back. Big exhale around to the front. All right, how about some windmills? So feet outside the shoulders, arms straight out to the side. We're gonna take right hand down to the left foot, all the way back up to tall. Left hand down to the right foot, all the way back up to tall. Knees can be soft, they should not be locked out. Okay, they should have a little bit of a bend in them. If you need to bend them more to get to your foot, bend them more to get to your foot. But the big thing is, they should not be locked out. You want to be athletic joints, which means athletic joints are soft and never locked out. So that you can be springing and get off the floor at any point in time. So, nice and easy. My left hand to the right foot, my right hand to the left foot, one way, other way, one way, other way. For you, those people that are a little bit more quick and have a faster nervous system and are more athletic, you can actually go a little faster, okay? But you need to still make it through the full range, all the way to the foot and all the way up tall, okay? All the way to the foot and all the way up tall. So, I'll do my faster speed now. Over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up, over, up. But as you can see, my hips get that pop, pop.
pop in the hip to bring myself up. Over, pop the hip. 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 But we can go at this pace too. Over, up, over, and up. That is just for that little kick in there for a little extra athleticism, okay? Then squats. Hands can either be out in front, crossed over the chest, or hands right underneath the chin. Okay, weight should be evenly balanced through the front and back of the foot, and squatting all the way down and coming all the way back up tall. Squatting down, coming all the way back up tall. The shoulder should stay right over the top of the arch in your foot. Right? It shouldn't be way out here because you're leaning forward, and it shouldn't be way back there because you're leaning too far backward. It should be right over the top of the arch in your foot as you drop down and as you come back up. As you drop down and you come back up. Dropping down, coming back up. Dropping down, coming back up. Working through a good range of motion and getting in deep into that squat best that you can. All the way down, all the way back up. All the way down, all the way back up. We'll do one more. All the way down, and all the way back up. All right. Arm circles backwards. Nice straight arms. Big inhale up the front, over the top of the head. Reaching as far back as you can, trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together as you're going around the back. And then down around the hips again. Big inhale up the front. Big exhale down around the back. Big inhale up the front. Big exhale down around the back. Big inhale up around the front. Big exhale down around the back. Now nice and slow, making the biggest circle you can so that you really focus on trying to open up those shoulder joints. You wanna work those muscles, work those tendons, work those ligaments, get some blood flow in there before you're gonna go be active and do activity. All right, so especially all my beat ball players out there, you wanna do this before you are gonna play you want to do this every day in your living room and get your body ready to go. So you can kick some butt out there on the field. Let's switch directions. So big inhale up the back. Big exhale down around the front. Big inhale up the back. Big exhale down around the front. Big inhale up the back. Big exhale around the front. Really try to squeeze those shoulder blades as you come around the back. You almost want to pretend like you're doing the butterfly stroke and swimming. So that you're really reaching way back there, opening the hands all the way up and then pulling all the way around. Way up there, diving into the water, grabbing those hands and pulling them all the way around. So that you really open those shoulder joints all the way up. All right, so there are our big arm circles. So now how about we do some lateral lunges? So feet right at shoulder width. We're gonna step out to the side about two to three feet. Bend that leg, my right leg, dropping the hips down, and then coming all the way back up. Your trailing leg stays straight. I'm going to bend out with the left, sit down that little stool behind my left foot, and then come back up. Step out with my right, sit down on that stool behind my right foot, and then come back up. Okay? Just an imaginary little stool right there. To where you try to seat those hips all the way down there. Once again, my shoulder stays right over the top of the arch of the foot that I'm stepping with. My trailing leg is straight, yet soft. That knee is not locked out. There's a little bit of a bend in it. So that I work more and more into that stretch. Stepping out with my right, dropping down, coming back up. Stepping out with my left, dropping down, coming back up. Stepping out to my right, dropping down, coming back up. Stepping out to my left, dropping down, coming back up. Out to the right, back up. Out to the left. Back up, out to the right, back up, out to the left, back up. One more time each way, out to the right, back up, out to the left, back up. All right, getting the heart rate going, get the respiratory system going, getting the body nice and hot, all good stuff. Helicopter time. So, feet about shoulder width apart, arms out to the side, rotation of that upper body. Rotating all the way to the right, all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all the way to the left. We're going to remember to pivot on your trailing leg. So when I rotate to my right, I pivot on my left foot. 
when I rotate to my left, I pivot on my right foot. So when you're pivoting on that foot, the heel comes up off the ground and you rotate on the ball of the foot so that you rotate that hip. The other leg stays straight, right where it was. You can use those eyes to drive the motion even more. As I go to my left, looking over my left shoulder. As I go to my right, looking over my right shoulder. Because those eyes will allow you to work farther into that range of motion. Going all the way left, going all the way right. Going all the way left and all the way right for the last time. All right, so those are our helicopters. That was good there. So then how about we go with a little front lunge. So we can start with our mini lunge if we want. Stepping out with our right foot, whoops. Bending our left knee a little bit and then pushing through that right foot to come all the way back up. Stepping out with our left. Dropping down a little bit with our right knee and then coming back up to tall. Stepping out forward with the right, bending the left, coming back up. Stepping out with the left, bending the right a little bit, coming back to the top. Out with the right, bend a little bit, pushing back to come back up tall. Out with the left, bending a little bit, pushing up tall. If you're ready to go deeper, you can go all the way down without touching the floor. So I'm going to go out with the left, bend my right to the floor, back up. Out with the right, bend the left to the floor, push back up. Out with the left, bend the right, push to the floor to come back up. So do your best. Have the belly button in, be under control. Nice tall posture. Try not to like actually hit the floor. Just ever so slightly let touch. Know where that floor is. Have that proprioceptiveness. So that you drop down, lightly touch. Push through their foot. Step out with my right, bend my left, push through my right to come back up. Out with my left, bend the right, push through the left to come back up. One more each side. Out with the right, touch with the left, push back up. Out with the left, touch with the right, push back up through the left. Okay, so there's our lunges. Wakes the legs up a little bit more. Gets them going really good because our legs are super, super important, especially for all of our team sports. And now let's do some Side stretches. So, left arm down the side, right arm over the top, reaching towards the ceiling as well as across, so that we get a good stretch down that whole right side. Keep your right heel down on the floor, and then switch. Right arm down the side, left arm over the top, left heel down on the floor, good stretch down the left. Left hand down the side, right arm over the top, reaching, reaching, reaching. Right arm down the side, left arm over the top. Left arm down the side, right arm reaching over the top. Right arm down the side, left arm over the top. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Left arm down the side, right arm reaching up and across. And one last time over here. Right arm down the side. Left arm reaching across at the top. Good. And then relaxing there. All right. And then let's do a little invisible jump roping. Wake those calves up. So we pretend like we got the jump rope in our hands here. We're doing a little twirl. And then we're going to do little bounces on the balls of our feet to wake those calves up and the Achilles tendon. Get all that going really good. Nice and easy. And we're gonna go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we'll shut that down. And then last thing, we'll do a little push-up, okay? So it could be on your knees, could be on your toes. I'll start on my knees, and then I'll switch to the toes. Okay, but we want to have the body nice and straight. We don't want the butt way up in the air. We don't want to be flexed at the hips. But we also need to keep the belly button in. And we want those elbows to come out at a 45 degree angle from the side. So not straight out to the side, not right along your body either. Right in between the two. Big inhale as you drop down, big exhale as you come up. Big inhale as you drop down, big exhale as you come back up. Up on the toes, it's the same thing. Big inhale down, big exhale back up. Big inhale down, big exhale back up. Big inhale down, big exhale back up. Slow and steady, nice and smooth. Big inhale down. Big exhale up, big inhale down, big exhale up. We'll go one last time. Big inhale down, big exhale up. And there you have it. 
so hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell. I put lots of little routines up like this all the time. So you can bounce around from one to the other, change things up. These are good to do every day. They're not necessarily hard, but they get your respiratory system going, they get your heart going, and they pump lots of blood throughout your whole body. So I got a good little sweat going right now, okay? Also because I did it twice in a row. <laughs> so have fun with it. Let me know. You can always reach me out to me if you got questions, whether it's on Instagram, michaelfin490, or whether you email me, michael at finfit.com, or here on my channel, or text me, whatever works for you. And I hope you all have a happy, a happy, I hope you all have a wonderfully happy and healthy day and enjoy all of your warm-up sessions. See you next time in the next video.